Welcome to another GB Studio tutorial. This one's about spawning objects. So in a lot of game engines, you can actually spawn objects, but in GB Studio, you kind of can't. <laughs> but there is a, 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 a trick, there's, there's a way to do it. So in Gerb's Adventure, uh, if you go inside his house, there's a, a dog here and the um, goblin, and you actually can't see them when you first walk into the house. And the reason you can't see them is because, I don't know if you remember this, but you can run code at the start of a scene. So as soon as you enter this scene, what I do is I check whether um, a, a quest to free the dog is true or false, and also check to see if the goblin is your friend. <laughs> if you talk to the goblin outside, he becomes your friend. So how you spawn stuff is actually the opposite. Instead of it not being there and then you making it appear, what you're actually doing is you're putting it there and then you're making it disappear. You have to hide stuff. All right, so when I walk in my house, check it out. Nothing, nothing inside Gerb's house. He ain't got no friends, nobody loves him. Let's talk to the goblin over here. <clears throat> this game gonna have goblins, but right now it's just me, man. Can I move in with you so I don't get killed? Uh, yeah, move in, buddy. No, you smell. So I'm gonna hit yes, um, <laughs> because we're gonna make him our friend, right? So uh, there you go, <laughs> there he goes. He's he moved in. So now if we check and go inside the house, check it out. The goblin's here, and uh, he's taking a nap. He's taking a nap in my house. So um, I'll run you through that real quick. And I'll, let's uh, create another scene here, and I'll show you how that's done. So I just created a new, uh, a new scene. Let me move this one over. When you create a scene, um, let's name this. Go to Ruckholt House, and now let's add let's add um, an actor. Let's add an actor right here in the middle of the room, and we're gonna make it be the cat. <clears throat> Curves is gonna get a cat. No kitty. It's gonna be a kitty. And you don't want to hide the actor by going hide right here. I mean, you could, but um, I don't recommend it. So instead what you want to do is right here in the scene, the first thing you want to do in here is you want to hide, right? And what we want to hide is the kitty. So now if you walk into this scene, look at that. Boom, you can just do that and now. Isn't that cool? So now if you um, walk into his house, the kitty is going to get hidden. And um, let's just go ahead and test that. So I didn't save it. This gem right here saves the game. I didn't save it, so the goblin's not going to be inside my house. I also am going to a different scene anyway, so um, here we go. It's going to be empty. See? Bada bing, bada boom. So let's create a variable that will show the cat. The kitty. I'm going to add another actor. And... I'm just going to make it an NPC. And basically this NPC, I'm going to have a text dialog. By now you guys should know how to set variables in all sorts of ways. Do you want a kitty? So he's going to ask if I want a kitty. And now search multiple. And um, you can add a multiple choice option. And here we're going to create a new variable. Um, that one looks fine. And we're going to rename it own kitty. Remember when you're naming you're naming variables that are going to be true or false. Name them something that's like a question. So that way, if I say own kitty is false, you know what that means. It means you don't own a kitty. True means you, yes, and false is going to be no. So um, NPC is going to say, do you want a kitty? You're going to say uh, yes or no. And after that, let's do an if statement, right? If variable is true. So if own kitty is true, this is where we can turn the kitty on. Just search show. It's basically just the opposite of hide and make sure you select your kitty. I'm gonna to talk to the NPC. Do you want a kitty? We're gonna say yes, and boom, the kitty's there. Pretty cool, right? So I know that was pretty simple, but the reason why a lot of people get confusion with this is that anything that you want to appear in a scene, what you have to do first is hide it. And the best place to hide it is in the scene start. You can download the project on itch. I'll have a link in the description below. Feel free to use the art in your own project.
So next week, I think I'm going to experiment with spawning a sword in front of the player and doing some Zelda-style combat. If you like game dev-related stuff, follow me on Twitter. That's it for today. It's dev life. <laughs>